Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Nice one. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Enjoying it so far? Yeah. Wow, some good information that you're getting, and the only not, it's not even lunchtime yet. Great. Before I start, let me just ask a question. How many of you in here are running your own webinars at the moment? Two. <laughs> Two of you. That's cool. Brilliant. Are you, are you making money from your webinars? No, you're just giving pride in information, which is, which is fine. You're good. And you, sir? It's mostly for mentorships. It's mentorships. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. And so I'm assuming the rest of you do not run webinars. <laughs> Hands up those of you... Uh, the reason why you are not running webinars, honestly, is that you're scared. Honestly, scared. Yes. Be honest. Be real. Yes. So the rest of you are just can't be bothered then. Hands up those of you really petrified of running your own webinars. Honestly. Are you scared of, um, maybe I can help you here. Are you scared of maybe uh, your message may not come, acro come across um, professionally? Yes. Are you afraid that... Um, Technology may just shut down on you in the middle of the webinar. Are you afraid that you may burp in the middle of the webinar? Are you afraid that your PowerPoint slides may not look as good? Are you also afraid that, what am I going to be talking about? How, how, hands up those of you who feel, I wouldn't know what I want to talk about. But put your hand up if you believe that if you had a room packed with 100 people on your webinar, 100 delegates on your webinar, you feel that you would have a positive message to deliver. So those of you that haven't got your hands up, you would have nothing positive to deliver at all. <laughs> nothing linked with your business or anything like that. And that's what webinars basically are about, delivering that. And I'm going to be sharing with you over the next half an hour, 45 minutes or so, on how when you leave here, you're going to have a plan in place, you're going to know what you're going to be talking about, and you're going to know that where you can go somewhere to start your own webinar for free. How much? Free. How much? Free. Hands up who likes free. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm just going to briefly go over my, how I actually got into doing webinars. One of, one of the businesses that I do, webinars is one of the things that I do on the side, and this is the journey how I fell into that. Um, I used to be, um, and I still do, um, uh, do dating coach. I used to do dating coaching for single professional women. And I used to help them, coach them, mentor them, and I used to coach them on how they can find and attract the right man in their life. Hands up the men that think they're the best man to have in a relationship with a woman. The men? Just me then, is it? Just three guys? And a guy at the back there? One, two, three, four guys are saying that. Another one here. And I started working with, with, um, with um, single women. I came out of a very painful divorce, and I started getting into coaching. I used to run seminars and workshops, and a couple of hundred women used to come to my events. Now, what's that got to do with webinars? What was happening, they were held in London, and I used to hold them once a month, and 200 women would come and see me, and I'd coach them, and some of the men would come, and all those kind of things, it was going really well. But that was only for women that were local in London. And then I had women from New Zealand, Australia, America, saying, your coaching is really good, um, how can we get access to it? I thought, wow, how can I do that? And I thought, wow, I run a webinar. So I, ran a web I used to run webinars for single women, how to be confident, where to find the, the men and all those kind of things. And what was happening was these were professional women that were single. And they came to me afterwards and said, look, your webinar was really, really good. It was informative. Can you help me with my business to apply the same thing that you did? I thought, yeah, of course, I'll try that. So I had a lot of clients providing the information. So you can picture this. I'm, even though I'm coaching the women, the women were coming to me, they were um, coaches, authors, they wanted to get their message out there through the books, um, experts in their own niche, consultants, business owners, entrepreneurs, it didn't matter what it is. And what happened, I packaged up the same methods that I was using to get them to invest in me for their business. Does that make sense? So that was my journey into that. And I also run um, um, social media marketing events. Um, on your chair, there should be a form, a, a form on there. Uh, me and Sharon's got a table over there, and we hold, um, she's an award-winning social media expert, and this is what's going to be happening from now on. I'm going to be speaking, then there's going to be lunch, and then in lunch break, in the last 35 to 40 minutes, Sharon's going to be giving a presentation on social media. What are you going to be talking about, Sharon? Um, so we support business owners around affecting 
how to optimize your Facebook profile, Facebook marketing, and Facebook Live. So go and grab a sandwich, come back, and she's doing a uh, lunchtime workshop. So then she's going to do that. Then after lunch, I think we have um, James again, or maybe Jody. But I know Jody and James are running the rest of the afternoon. So there's that as well. Now, on everybody's chair, you should have one of these forms. Who doesn't have one? Because there's always going to be one in the room. Why wasn't you in here in the break? <laughs> right, can somebody, if, uh, how many, who doesn't have a form? Okay, can you just pass those to the back? It's very important. Anybody else doesn't have a form? Okay, thank you very much. This gentleman will pass them around. Now. I need, to, I need to shout, don't be aggressive. He's doing his best. I know you didn't, he's getting scared now, don't frighten him, right? <laughs> so everybody has this form, okay? Now, hands up those of you who procrastinate a lot, honestly. Just thinking, oh, I'll, I'll get to it, but I'll, I'll get to it in a bit of a time, but I know, and you know you should do it, but you don't do it, okay? Okay, brilliant. And hands up those of you that are control freaks. God, your hand went up so quick. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, date this woman here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come to my event next week. Um, and what's going to happen is this exercise is going to prepare you. I want you to leave here today with to know exactly what you're going to do in relation to your webinar. Does that make sense? Yeah? yeah. I want you to leave here. Now, you're going to have one decision you're going to make. So the control freaks and the um, procrastinators are going to have a problem with this because the control freaks don't like being told what to do. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be forced to make one decision. So please, today, just be fluffy today. Be fluffy and, and just do as you're told today, all right? <laughs> For once. So also... At the end of this exercise, I want to give you all a free gift. I'm not selling anything, but who would like a free video course? Hold on. I'm telling you how much it's going to cost you. Who would like a free video course on webinars or Facebook Live or both? Are your hands up? So those are hands not up, they don't want it. So what I want you to do, we're going to do this exercise. I'm going to explain to you what you're going to do. And at the bottom of it, you say, it sees, says, well, it says at the bottom, name, email, mobile. Leave your details there. The reason why we're taking your name, your email, is because we can send you the free gift. And also the mobile, just in case you write your, uh, your email like you're going to, uh, like a doctor. You're scribbly and you can't read like a prescription. So if you put your mobile, then if your email bounces, we can text it to you as well. Okay? Also, for our staff, who would like to come to a whole day social media marketing event, how to boost profits for free using Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and bonus sessions on Facebook Live webinars, product creation, and WhatsApp? Who wants a free ticket for that worth 497? This form here, you see this? Fill this in and hand it at the back after. If you haven't got the form, come to the back of the room. On the, there's a sheet there where it tells you the website to go and register. But if you the forms are all at the back there after I've finished presenting. Come and see me at lunch break. Leave your details and we'll send you a free ticket. You like signing that so far? Yes. Right. Good. Because I want to provide lots of value to you guys to make sure that you, you leave here to be inspired. So this is what's going to happen. As you can see, you all have one of these forms. Hands up who doesn't have one. You're joking. After all we've been talking about, you haven't got one. <laughs> yes, that, does that look the same to you? Yep. Anyone else? Right. Everyone's got it. Now, these are the research that I've been taking part, I've been looking around to see what are the top eight components of packaging and preparing your webinar. So we have to start from somewhere. And as you can see, there's prepare, promotion, title, what to sell, research, questions, giveaways, and practice. Now, do not anybody fill anything in unless you're going to fill in the bottom of the the slides at the moment because you're not knowing what you're going to do here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to briefly go into each one of those eight to tell you what it means. Would that help you to know that? And then that will determine what you're going to be putting on that form. So for example, 
Let's say, for example, out of prepare and promotion, this is after I've explained it to you, the number one out of those two that you're choosing that's most important to you would be prepare. Then you put prepare in that box. Does that make sense? Don't do anything yet because you don't know what prepare means. Prepare means my, prepare may mean sitting in front of your computer naked. You're not going to put that in, are you? As a joke, by the way. Go on. <laughs> Sorry? Don't write anything at all. <laughs> Nothing until I say so. So let's say, for example, out of title and what to sell, you wanted to choose title that's more important to you. Let's say out of questions and research, you wanted to, to be, it would be research and giveaways and practice. Who doesn't understand what I've just done there? Everybody who doesn't understand it? So you know what you need to do there, okay? And what this is about is taking you through a process that when you leave here today, there's one thing that you know that you need to start to work on with your webinars. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Okay? It may not be prepared. That was just an example. Who understands me so far? So we're clear. Yeah. Who doesn't understand? You don't understand? Okay, right. There's eight components here, and I'm going to explain to you what each ones are. Okay? Now, the top two on your form says prepare and promotion. Now, which one of those would be the most important to you to prepare to, to use it for a webinar planning? Preparation. So what one would you put? What one would you do? Right? Do you understand the rest of it now? Yeah? No, don't apologise. Round of applause for him being honest and understanding everybody. <laughs> Round of applause. Thank you. Right? Just don't feel embarrassed because sometimes you just don't get it. It doesn't mean that you don't understand it. Don't worry. Right. So you can take notes and I'm going to be going through each one in detail so it makes a lot more sense. So the first one we're going to be talking about is preparation. Now, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, why do you want to run a webinar? Think about that. Why would you want to run a webinar? Now, what I want you to do is turn to the person next to you and 30 seconds each, share with them, why would you want to run a webinar? Go. Okay. okay. Right. Shh. Okay, guys. Right. Who would like to share why they want to run a webinar in 10 seconds? Hands up, first person. Gentleman down here, please. Brilliant. Now, why would you want to run a webinar? I'd like to stand up and just tell the audience. And what's your name, please, and what do you do? My name is uh, Sanjay. Uh, Hello, Sanjay. Hello, Sanjay. Hello, Sanjay. Morning or afternoon, whichever time zone you're in. <laughs> what do I do? I've got my own business, and I'm in property. Basically, I have my own estate agency. I've had that for 11 years now. Brilliant. And why would you want to run a webinar? Um, my belief is webinars now are probably the closest thing for me to own like my own radio station, probably. Brilliant. Because at the moment, it probably cost me a lot of money to get on a radio station. And I think this uh, webinar is probably you know, having my own radio station. That's my belief. Brilliant. Round of applause for Sanjay, please. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody, you. anybody else? Yeah. Lady over there, please. Mary, Mary is it? Okay, stand up, Mary. Introduce yourself, and why would you like to? Why would you want to run a webinar? Hi, everyone. My name's Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. <laughs> I run a consultancy specialising in HR and health and safety. Uh, why I would like to run a webinar would be to give value to my customers, and then also use it as an avenue to build customer base. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Mary, please. Okay, brilliant. Right, so, question to you. If I was to run my own webinar, what would I be most afraid of? Technical issues, yes, technical issues. Why, why would you be afraid of that? Because if it doesn't work on the day or the time, then it's uh, a problem with reputation. Right. You know, that. Reputation, technical issues, thank you very much. Anybody else? There must be. Everybody said they're afraid of running their own webinar. Ask the gentleman here. Probably, probably you might be saying to yourself, I might not be able to answer the question somebody out there in the world might be asking me. Brilliant. So you might get cold feet. Yeah. So you need to know your subject pretty well. Good. Thank you for that. Who, who agrees with me with that one? Yeah. Brilliant. Right. Shall I tell you a way around that? You need to do the research before you run your own webinar. I'm going to go over this in a lot more depth. But you need to prepare. 
It's very important. You're, you are all um, business owners and uh, have a, a targeted area in your business that you're experts in. Is that correct? Yeah. Within reason. But you know your stuff. So if anybody was to ask you any questions, you should confidently know the answer. Yeah? yeah? If you're having, you, who has clients on a regular basis? Who speaks to their clients daily? Who gets questions? Who doesn't get questions? Right. Most of the questions you get, you ask, do, are you confident to be able to answer them? Yeah. Right. And there's usually top 10 questions that you get on a regular basis. Is that correct? Yes. Right. So do you think you'd get the similar questions on your webinar? Yeah. Yes. Is that just taking that fear away a little bit now? Because you know your stuff. What you could also do is research the top questions you get asked about your business. And then what you would do, you would include that in your presentation when you're delivering it. Everybody with me? Yeah. So you do the research and you say, oh, okay, the top 10 questions are this, 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 and this. And you include those 10 in your presentation. So what you've done there is you've answered the question before it's come to you. Does that make sense? Also, what you could do, let's say, for example, you hold a webinar, and at the end of the webinar, nobody wants to ask you a question, which can happen. How would you get around that? Because it would be flat, wouldn't it? Oh, anybody, any, so say, for example, I just said, anybody got any questions? One of the reasons, there's two reasons why you may not get any questions. One, that you may have covered every single thing on the webinar, or two, it was just a flat, boring webinar, one or the other. How would you get around that? Pardon? Are you interested in what I'm saying? Is it good so far? Well, I wouldn't ask that on a live webinar. Why would you not ask, is it good so far? <laughs> yeah, 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 but then you've got to be careful with the questions you're asking because you're exposed. It's like me. I, I mean, I'm confident what I'm going to be doing, but I would never ask you, everybody, oh, how did you think of my presentation? Because if this gentleman here, which I know he's not going to, he could say it was crap. And then she may echo it. And then all of a sudden, everybody says it was crap, and then it, it just goes across the room. Does that make sense, right? So what you would then do is you would, you would say, you would go, you would have your 10 points of those questions that you've already done before. And let's say, for example, um, there was a top one that a top expert covers. Let's say, for example, you was in coaching with Anthony Robbins, or, or Richard Branson says this. You could make reference to that person and say, um, the top question that was asked in that area was asked to Richard Branson. And Richard Branson said this, and I agree with him. Does that make sense? Because that then positions you aligned with an expert. It makes you look good because you've done the research and you've covered some important questions. Because no one's not going to say, oh, well, you know, then, you, then you've made an association with that person. Is that all right? So that's one way of getting over the question barrier. Was that good? Good. What do you want to achieve? If you was to hold a web, let's say for example, a webinar and coming on stage here now is gonna be the same thing. But if you was to come on stage here now and, and deliver a message, at the end of the message, what would you want to achieve? Hands up for someone who want to, hands up wants to share that. What would you want to achieve at the end of your webinar? Sell a product. Sell a product. Brilliant, right. You want to sell something. Anything else? Presentation for company, products, right? Your time's up now. <laughs> um, but seriously, thank you. I'd like to gather feedback on whatever I'm talking about from the audience. Gather feedback from the audience, brilliant. But the ultimate goal usually for the webinars is to sell what you want to deliver or you want to create a, a, a list of potential clients. But most webinars are used to lead, um, generate a lead generation program or to sell something. You all come here today to learn some information that you can take home and apply to help your business be more successful, all right? Because it's all about the money. As much as you'd like to come up and you may like us, you're here because you want to find out how you can make more money when you go home. Is that correct? Yes. So when you're preparing and you're running your own, running your own webinar, you need to have an end result. What do you want to achieve? That's the first question you need to ask yourself. What do you want to sell? But what can you sell, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover in a bit more depth now. When you're preparing your webinar, 
black text on white background seems to be the best way to uh, prepare a presentation. Is that clear and simple to read? Okay. Um, try to avoid loads of bright colours and images because it can put people off and take the focus off as well. Who would, so who would like a copy of these slides for free? Okay. When you fill in your details on the bottom of that form, I'll get them sent to you as well. Next one is promotion. So we've done prepare, and now we're going to... Next one is promotion. Okay? Now, one of the ways you can promote your webinar is by email. Who, who has an email database list? Who doesn't? Who's not going to put a hand up, no matter what I ask them in this room today? <laughs> so you need to have an email list. And if you don't have one, go to somewhere like MailChimp and create a free account where that is the email. That, I mean, you received an email from um, James, yeah? That's because he has a CRM system. And he's collecting your emails and he's building a relationship with you. Hands up those of you that do not have a website. So everyone has a, more or less, most people in the room has a website. And you can collect, if you don't have a website, um, speak to James and he could talk to you about his funnels. But you need to collect the emails to send them an invitation to, you, to, to your, attend your webinar. Okay? So email marketing is very important. Go back and look how James contacted you. Go back from the first email and the relationship that you've got because he sent that email to you and you're here today. Hands up those of you that um, got invited here via Facebook. Email? Mobiles? Okay, so the rest of you just started to walk in off the street. <laughs> <laughs> social media. Who is not on social media? Really? No. <laughs> Any particular reason why that is? You don't? Oh, you? Are you on social media? No. You're not? You're not on social media? And anybody else not on social media? Maybe you need to define social media because it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on Facebook? LinkedIn? Twitter? You don't want to? Okay, brilliant. You must stay for the lunchtime workshop then because after that presentation, do you think that if you're not on social media, you're missing out big time? Yes. Yeah. I can't hear you. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> Do some research on that because you're missing out. And yourself as well. What business are you in? I want to start my business. Yeah. What business do you want to start? Uh, marketing. Marketing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Wrong business. laughs> right. Is there any... <laughs> don't laugh at him. Is there any reason why you... Are you afraid of social media? Is there something... I came up with it. I came up with it. Oh, you was on it before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, why didn't you say that? Oh, yeah. yeah. The way he's made it sound that he's never been on social media before. Yeah. Oh, it's the wrong reason. So to do with girls? Girls? Yeah, girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hands up the men that can relate to what... No, no, it's the wrong, wrong, wrong seminar. Right. Get back on social media, though. Yeah, You know he needs to get on it. And don't let girls dictate what you should be doing with your life. <laughs> texting, all right? Texting. Who received the text from James? Right. There's a company that I use, and I think he uses, called Text Local. And basically, you collect mobile numbers and then you can send them a message. Now, you can send them a message, like, for example, I'm holding um, a single women's dating conference next week, Saturday. And I have about 150 women that are coming and I've got their mobile. So I will text them a reminder and it, on, the, on their phone, it will come up as Des O'Connor. You won't say my mobile number because I personalise it because I'm using it for your text local. So you could do the same thing for your business. You can put your name... As it, who gets those crappy, annoying PPI texts? Yeah, right. But I'm not one of those people. <laughs> but it's annoying. But the people that you have on your list and your contacts, you can send them uh, a text to remind them, because not everybody opens their email, but everyone's on their phone. Yeah? So you, you could text your, uh, the link from your webinar to everybody on your phone. Just like, okay, those of you that don't have an email list, you have a mobile phone. Who doesn't have a mobile phone? It's looking at you. You, you don't... Oh, no, there's always one. No, I don't mean... I don't mean you lost it and you haven't got one. I mean, genuinely, do you have a mobile phone? There's always one. 
So what you can do, what you can do is you can go to everybody in your contact list and text and WhatsApp them an invitation to your webinar. And how much, does that, how much will that cost you? Free. Free. Now, to go to text local, I think to send a text is something like 3p per text. So if you've got 500 mobile numbers and you send them a text through the account, it's very easy to use like an email and you send it to them, they will then go to that link and register for your webinar, okay? TXT local, set up an account and you're good to go. So that's promotion, okay? Now, this is a strategy that uh, I always share with people. Hands up those of you that have a personal Facebook profile. Right. And hands up those of you that promote your business on your Facebook personal profile. How many of you promote your personal... You get it? The second question, I'm coming to that. Okay. How many of you promote your personal, your, your business URL selling on your personal Facebook page? Why not? Why don't you do that? It's not allowed. Spammy. Okay, anyone else? Against the rules, correct. Why is it against the rules? Right. Okay, you have a personal page and you have a business page. The business page is for what? Business. business. The personal page is for? Personal. There's nothing wrong with you sharing a blog, as long as you're not promoting and selling it, or an inspirational video, but you cannot blatantly go on your personal Facebook page and say, for example, um, I'm having an event next week, I can't go in there and put, attend my event, book a ticket now, blah, 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 blah. You will get banned from doing that. So those of you that are doing it, that didn't put their hand up, stop doing it. Yeah, <coughs> this is the way around it, I'm going to show you. So what you do, this is your personal page, and what you do, you create a group, or you create an event, okay, for what you're doing, because it's all within Facebook. And then you promote that onto your personal page. The URL that you have, that you want to sell, you can go back and promote that into your business page. Okay? Who doesn't understand what I've just said there? Everybody understands that. Do you have a Facebook account? Yeah. Personal. You can't promote your property business on there. You need to set up a Sanjay property business business page and then you can promote it on there. You can promote your Sanjay business page on your personal, but you can't put the www.yourbusinesspage.com. Does that make sense? All right? Cool. So with your webinar, where would you promote your webinar? On your personal or your business page? Business. business. Good. Now, how do you prepare a, a, a title, a powerful title for your webinar? Who wants to share with me? Just imagine you've got a web. If I was to bring you on stage here now, which I'm not going to, if you had a title, pretend you had a title for your webinar, what would you call it? First person wants to share that with me. No one? At the back there. Shall I, shall I take the mic to him or shall I? Or you want to do it? <laughs> The guy at the back there. Thank you. Thanks for your help, Megan. I'm better than Tony Robbins. Sorry? I'm better than Tony Robbins. Wow. Yeah. Just give him a round of applause for his confidence there. Now keep keep the mic there. Keep the mic there. What would your um, webinar be? What would their end result be on the webinar? From the answer I gave, or just general question? Be specific. So you're having a webinar called I'm the Better of I'm Better. You asked for a title. I didn't. I'm finished. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what title. You asked what title. I don't know what it's about, but it's. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Round of applause for the joker at the back of the room. <laughs> right. Maybe maybe you're in, a, you're in a different room. <laughs> okay. Let's give it another go. Right. Bring it. Do you understand the question, first of all? I understand the question. Can you answer my question, please? Okay, sir. Thank you. What is it? What is, are you going to answer it today, please? Can you say it again? I told you <laughs> See? He was listening. What's the listening, was he? What does it say on the screen? How to put the, the powerful title for your webinar. So you've got a webinar of 100 people. Yes. 
listening to you, okay, what would you want to call the title of your That's webinar? The title. I'm better than Tony Robbins. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Next person, please. Thank you very much. Because I'm completely lost with that one, so I'll just move on from there. <laughs> Next. It depends on the topic. Well, it's his topic, isn't it? You choose a topic for your webinar, nothing to do with me. Who understands the question? Who doesn't understand my question? Right. If you was to hold a webinar, what would you want to call it? There you go, this lovely lady would like to answer. I bet she answers my question. There you go, my dear. Thank you very much. Yay! Yay! Someone's back to earth. Brilliant. Anybody else? Right, another gentleman here. What would your title be <laughs> of your webinar? Thank you, sir. Write a position in the book for impact, influence, and income in 90 days. Brilliant. Round of applause. Next question. Next time. Who wants to give another title? This gentleman here. I'm so glad everyone's understand my question. <laughs> How to have younger looking skin. Ooh. Who would like to attend that webinar? Yes, good. Anyone else? How to get rich. How to get rich. Yeah. Brilliant. Anyone else? Gentlemen, there, don't give the mic to the guy at the back with the glasses ever again for the rest, for the rest of my life, and you're banned from all my events for the next 10, ten years. <laughs> uh, how to get your mind and body in the best shape ever fast. Woo! Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, brilliant. Okay, that's excellent. Now, there is a certain... Uh, way of titling your webinar okay and usually some webinars start with how to which is very good how to and what you're doing is you're providing a solution to your clients problem okay now how to you starts with your clients pain now what is your what would you say what would you say your client just think about this your client has a pain yeah and you provide a solution to that pain correct yeah. right what is the pain and what is the solution? Turn to the person next to you and just share that 30 <coughs> seconds. What is the pain your client has and what solution do you provide? 15 seconds for each other. 30 seconds, go. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Right, so that's one of the titles you could use with, with that, okay? Another one you could talk about is seven biggest mistakes your clients make. Okay, I haven't got time to go over all of the seven mistakes, but your clients make mistakes, don't they? Yep. So you write down the seven biggest mistakes your clients make and how to and how they can achieve the positive results. Who's with me so far? Okay, brilliant. Another one is the real reasons why your clients are in pain and what your solution is. Who wants these slides? Is this going to help them? Okay, cool. £27 each. Next slide. <laughs> It's free. Put it, read a few details in the bottom. Okay? And we've covered that. What would you most be afraid of? That's a repeated question. Right. So that is preparation. Was that cool? Yeah. All right. Carry on. More. What to sell? Products. What products could you sell? Who wants to shout them out? What products would you sell? Like Drugs. <laughs> Services. <laughs> Services. Yeah. Anyone else? Skincare. Skincare. Anyone else? Mon <laughs> okay, right. Money is anyone else? Des O'Connor, yes. <laughs> so products, services, and events. These are some of the things that you could sell. Products could anything range from a uh, downloadable book, which is an ebook, MP3, which is audio programs, um, MP4, which are videos. Your webinar could be a series of webinars which could be videos within the webinar program itself, if that makes sense, yeah? So, and services. Maybe you want to sell your one-to-one -one services. So at the end of your webinar, you could promote that I have, I provide consult, sorry, consultancy, but I'm giving you two for the price of one. That's one of the services, if you don't have any products. You could be having events. Like I run webinars and I always promote free tickets to my events. James sometimes has webinars where he promotes tickets for these events. You could do the same thing with Facebook Live now. Okay? So that's what you could sell. Ebooks, DVDs, online courses, a membership site which are drip fed, coaching, consulting, services, bundles, seminars, workshops. Let me go back to that quickly. Who have I missed out anything on there? 
For all those of you that are taking pictures, I'm charging you a pound each, by the way. <laughs> you get the, I will send you the slides if you leave your details on the bottom, so don't, don't worry, okay? Yes. Yeah? Sorry? Yes, certainly, my dear. Anything else you'd like? It's not any joke. <laughs> right, bundles are when you're um, having um, consult, um, coaching, DVDs, CDs, all bundled all together as one package to make you look attractive. You know when you see those fancy DVDs and the packages all packaged up as proper DVDs? You, bu you could sell that as a bundle all together as one. But you could prepare those bundles from your webinars. Okay? So I've covered most things on there. There's nothing in there I haven't covered. <laughs> missed out. Yep? Yeah? What about retreats? Retreats, yeah. There could be retreats. That could come under seminars and workshops. Yeah, retreats. <clears throat> so research. These are one of the important things. You need to research your, web, your, your, uh, your competitors to make sure you, ru you um, run a successful webinar. <clears throat> There's a website called Ezine Articles. And it's the largest um, article uh, blogging website where there's lots of experts in all the areas and the niches in the world that upload their information on there that you can read for free. You can, it's like a Google for articles. Articles. <clears throat> you go in there, you type what your business is, and then what happens is they have the top experts writing articles in there. And guess how much it costs to access that? Five dollars. <laughs> three. It's free. How much is it? So would this be able to help you for researching what you're going to talk about on your webinar and also what you're going to um, title it as well, would it not? So if you want to know somewhere where to title your webinar, go to this place. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of articles and then you can use some of their information for your webinar, but don't copy it, but you know, to, um, mo model it and make it your own. Cool? Right? So that's eZine articles. YouTube as well. Go to YouTube, I guarantee this, that whoever, what business you are in, you're more than likely going to get someone running webinars on what you want to do on YouTube. If you just type in the name of your business, for example, what's your business, my dear? Uh, workout, uh, health. workout, health, fitness. Yes. Right, so how to, if she types in fitness webinars, hundreds of them will turn up on YouTube for free. Watch them. Take out the best bits out of the 10 and make it your own. And that's your webinar. Make sense? Yeah, counselling. There's loads of... There was, I met a, another counsellor in there. Any, how many counsellors are in the room? Just yourself. You, there's loads of counsellors on there. On, 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 um, yeah. Everything's on there. On YouTube. And design articles as well. Udemy. Who's heard of Udemy. Udemy is a platform where people sell um, um, online courses ranging from uh, ebooks, um, videos, and MP3s. Some are free, but yet again, it's a good resource. The courses start sometimes from five, ten dollars upwards. Look at your competitors. Go in there. If you're if you're struggling to pay for that, purchase the free ones, and just learn from that. Look at their titles. Look at the descriptions of what they're talking about. It's all in there, and it's free. How much is it? Free. How much? Free, so you can go there. Was that helpful? Yeah. Right. You need questions, because I'm running out of time. I've been told I have five minutes. Say, ah. Oh. Oh. Say, James, can you have another hour, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who said no? <laughs> <laughs> on your webinar, what would you really want to... One second, I'm coming back. Come back to that question. What would you really want to know on your webinar? You've got all these people in the room. They're all your potential clients. What would you want to ask them? You haven't got to say to me that it's a rhetorical question, but write that down. What would you want to ask them if they're all in a room? What is their pain? We covered that earlier on before, didn't we? Yeah. yeah? What results do they need? Questions. Who are your main competitors? Write down who your main competitor is. If you don't know who they are, where would you go to find them? Giving you some ideas today, everybody. Facebook, Face, Facebook. Facebook. anywhere else? Resort. Where? Ezine articles, YouTube, Udemy. I want to pay attention. Yeah, as well as Google as well. Why are you not running your own webinars? We've covered that. We know what you would sell. If you go to go to meeting, 
or go to webinar.com. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial. You don't even you haven't even got to give your um your credit card details. It wants free likes free. Okay? So you go along there and you set up a free account and you practice, practice, practice. So what would happen is you'd be able to run your own webinar on there, the recording gets sent back to you, and then you can just keep practicing and practicing. One tip I would say is this. I wouldn't sign up for that today because I'd want you to take this information here, prepare your webinar, and then when it's polished and it's ready, then you go and sign up for the 30-day free trial. Because I think after 30 days, it's about, I think it's about $96 or something like that per month. So you want to make some money before you're getting out there. So you go to it, when you've prepared all this, you've got your webinar, you've got your PowerPoint slides, everything's in place, and then you can start it from there. Does that make sense? Yep. What other platform would you recommend? Um, that's the main one. There's loads of others out there, but you'll, you'll get a free trial with that. So just practice with that. Unless you want to pay. I've used that. Well, it's, the most, it's the main one out there. Exercise, we've done that already. Giveaways that you can give away in your webinar as well. Ebooks, MP4s, videos, and MP3, and consultation as well. So at the end of the webinar, you may give away a free gift or you may give away a consultation uh, there as well. So practice, free for the first 30 days, not nine days, 90 days. You can also go to a website called Audacity, and Audacity helps you, enables you to record audio. Who can, who can put on a pair of headphones and speak into a computer? Right, you don't, is that all the way up? Where's a little bit? All the way up. Audacity enables you to record that as a MP3, which is audio, for free, okay? So if you're a bit nervous about doing the webinars, that will enable you to record the audio, okay? If you want to record um, the webinar itself, there's some software that's called Camtasia. I think it's about $250 or pounds. Um, but I wouldn't invest in that yet until you've done the 30 days with GoToWebinar because they give you that, they do all that for you free, okay? Camtasia is what they record on your screen. You know, you see all those tutorials. That's what Camtasia does as well. And in practice every day. What do you do? Practice. When? Every day. every day, every day. Now, was that good stuff? Yeah. Now, what you need to do, because I'm wrapping up now, very quickly, who doesn't understand what they need to do now on this form? Who doesn't? Right, so one more minute and then I'm gonna, I've been told to come off. If you can please fill it all in.